Good morning, everyone. We welcome you to Strength for Today, and Strength for Today is a different, it's a very special day because this is Good Friday, and we're so glad to have each and every one of you join us this morning. And what we are going to do is partake of the Lord's table. Glory be to God. God is good, isn't he? We just thank the Lord for the oneness in the body of Christ. I'm going to share with you this morning scripture taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and I'm going to begin reading at verse 23. It says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Now, this is Apostle Paul speaking. He received this of the Lord. He received it from the Lord. Amen. He was not at the table with them at the Last Supper, but he he was, as we all know, he was converted later on in the really in the ninth chapter of Acts. Okay, and in verse 24, it says, And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Okay, so um, this is what I read. Now, just a few comments. The word is not worthy, unworthy. It's unworthily. Uh, It's eating and it's partaking of the Lord's table in the wrong manner. That's what that word unworthily means. It's doing something in the wrong manner or the wrong way. Now, what was going on is these people, they came together. They came together, instead of coming together to partake of the Lord's table, they came together and they just had a meal. And if you read above that, it just said some of them, they got drunk, and some of them did not have food to eat, and others was eating their food right before them. They wasn't sharing it or anything. But it really wasn't for that purpose, for them to come together and have a meal. Uh, But it was for them to come together and partake of the Lord's body. Now, and they did it in an unworthy manner. They did it wrong. They were not correct in the way they was partaking of the Lord's body. And then now, in, in this verse of Scripture says, um, but he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. So another thing is that we need to discern the Lord's body. Now, I believe that's twofold, is that we discern that when we partake of this bread, of this drink, that we discern that we take, we have an understanding that we've taken of the body of Christ. And when I discern that and realize what I'm doing, I'm remembering what he has done for me, is that his body was broken for us. He, he, he He was beaten. That's when it says uh, broken. That's talking about his skin on his back was just beaten to stripes. Amen. And so I discerned that in, in the Bible says that by his stripes, we are healed. I discerned that this Jesus paid this tremendous price for me. Amen. So I d- discerned that and I received that. I believe that from the Lord. That's discerning of his body. Now, also discerning of his body is to discern that you and I are the body of Christ, that each one of us is the body of Christ. And so when I discern that, I, I, I realize that I have to walk in love towards you. I discern that you are the body of Christ. I discern that if, if Jesus himself was standing before me in the physical, how would I respect him? How would I treat him? Amen. See, we have to discern that we as a whole are the body of Christ. 
speech. We are all children of God, and God loves each and every one of us the same. Praise God. And Jesus said he he, he give us a commandment that we are to love as he loved, love one another as I have loved you. He's telling us to love one another. Amen. And so <clears throat> with those thoughts in mind, we are going to prepare. We're going to pre- prepare to take of the Lord's body right now. Amen. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, unmute everyone. And we will do that. <laughs> 